Hey, Peter Gregg, Miami, Florida. Welcome to the Christmas Room. Sit back, relax. You are about to watch a Peter Gregg video. Something warm, human, and wonderful happens when you watch Peter Gregg. Hi, guys. I did a video yesterday, and yes, I'm wearing the same exact shirt today, but there's a reason behind the madness. There's a method behind the madness of wearing the same shirt twice in a row is because the question yesterday is Sony's focus system as good as the dual pixel focus system in Canon's. Uh, it's pretty much a given. I mean, you could find a guy here and there that's going to argue with you, but mostly it's a given that it's, it's probably one of the best uh, focus systems. So the thing is that Sony has this new camera out called the A7 Mark III, which they have the A9, the A7R Mark III, uh, and now the A7 uh, Mark III. There's no R, there's no S. I know a lot of people were waiting for the S to come out. So the focus test that we did yesterday was eh. Uh, it was passable. Um, but a lot of people noticed that there was a lot of inconsistencies happening, so I needed to find out why, all right? And I think I did. A uh, couple of guys, um, Smuggles and John Spiron, just to mention two, I wrote the names down, uh, had mentioned uh, interesting suggestions, so I took them to heart. So what did I do to change the focus system from yesterday to today? And you be the judge. Is it any better? Is it any sharper? We're still hitting it hard with an f1.4. I think I'm at f1.4, 1.6, 1 1.4, 160th of a second shutter speed. ISO 1000. I upped the light a little bit on the ISO from 800, I think, to 1000. Um, and the whole point of the test is can I walk around the room and have it follow me very much like the dual pixel focus. Okay, so some of these things are really small. There's one very major point that I need to make that actually is floating around the internet where people think their cameras are broken and not functioning and I'm wondering if it's possibly one of the things that I've discovered. One of the things is this kind of guy that talks like this, almost like you're back in the home motherland the country, okay? Now, the camera, uh, which is the Sony, this is the uh, uh, A7R 3 that you're watching right now, okay? And we're shooting in 4K with a 50 millimeter 1.4 lens set at either 1.4 or 1.6. I don't remember because it's the dial up there on the top that I moved. So um, uh, this is showing one thing, but I got a feeling we're at 1.6. So let's just say uh, the purpose of that is so that we have a very narrow depth of field. So just by me talking like this, like I'm going to serve you a baguette or maybe a nice Greek meal or down here in Miami, uh, you know, those fritas, pop, you know, uh, you know, that kind of stuff, the Latin foods. I know the, the desserts, flan and, and stuff like that. And as you can tell, right? And uh, so... If you're the type of guy that's going to hold a thing up like this, for instance, even if I hold this up to see if I'm in focus or not, the camera is not doing face detection like the Canon and like the GH5, which can actually do face detection. This is the GH5. Now watch, it's going to lock onto that because that is the closest object that's actually moving. Okay, now when I drop it down to the table, it needs to revert back to me, but because I've got something going on with my hands, it's going to get my hands. It's that accurate, okay? So I got to stop with the uh, gesticulations of my hands, okay? So now, this is, am I conforming to the camera? Is that what I'm doing? No, I'm kind of learning the weakness. Now, the other thing that I do is I like to go over and say hi to Jingles. Today, again, he's not feeling that well, and... Now I'm a little concerned, but I'm going to walk over here. Now, the camera is supposed to follow me uh, because it's following the closest moving object, unless it's locked onto something. So I'm going to sit, and I'm going to have a little conversation with Jingles. Hey, you doing, baby? Hmm? Are you feeling bad today? I'm going to see if we can get you some kind of medicine or something 
I think he's got acid in his stomach or something. I think that's what's been going on. So now I'm going to walk back to the desk. All right. Now the desk itself has proven to be a, pro a problem and I'm going to explain why in a second. Now if I do this because I'm insecure and uh, this is very much in movement and very much in, as close to me, it's going to want to pick up my hands as I watch this and at 1.4 my face is not going to be all that solid. Now one of the settings I did change according to I think John uh, can't see it even with the glasses on. Um, Spiro, John Spiro, sounds like you're Greek, right? Opa, Yasu, okay, I speak Greek, uh, is to change the focus speed down to focus lock, which means if there's not really a whole lot of movement here, like just a little bit of this, it's not going to try to refocus every time. Now I think that made it take a giant step forward in the test that I took. But let's take a walk down to the chair. I'm not going to walk super fast. I can. I'm not babying the camera. As a matter of fact, I need to see how this is going to work because I need to order a couple of the A7 Mark III's. Now, I seem to be in perfect focus right here sitting in this chair. And uh, the way I can tell is the tree is not. <laughs> okay. So that at 1.4, um, now I'm going to just slowly walk up here and it's going to follow me if I keep my stinking hands out of the way. All right. Uh, and then let's do the same walk a little quicker to see how it handles it. Now remember, we are testing the camera at the critical breaking point and that's because at 1.4 f-stop uh, or 1.6, the depth of field is very, very narrow. Now see, I want to do this. <laughs> All right, so the way you overcome this, just so you know, is don't shoot at 1.4. Give yourself a little more depth of field. So whether you're doing this or you're not, at 1.8, let's say, you're still going to have the tree out of focus and your background out of focus. However, you'll have a little room to do the fiddle-faddles that you do with your hands. Now, what happened is uh, actually a much more serious nature. This almost made me not want to buy the Sony. Uh, and that was all of a sudden the focus system decided to stop focusing. And what was that all about? I did everything I could think of doing. As a matter of fact, I went online. I'm wearing the lapel mic and I'm wearing the same shirt as yesterday so that we can actually compare with what I did from yesterday. Now you notice I got my training wheels off. I did not bring the phone with me so I don't have a clue if we're tripping up or not. And if it tripped up, I want all of us to see it. So I came back here down to Jingles. Okay, so I lost my train of thought. I was talking about, oh, uh, giving yourself a little bigger uh, focus envelope. Uh, but at 1.4, the focus is super critical. Now, yesterday, uh, something happened and it stopped focusing. It would focus on me beautifully here, but if I walked over there, it wouldn't follow me. And I came back. And then I walked over there and it wouldn't follow me. And I did that again over and over like I'm doing now. And now I'm kind of walking faster, okay? So I'm not babying the focusing system. Now the dual pixel focus will follow me absolutely beautiful when I do this. And that's one of the advantages. They just uh, won't give us 4K. So now Canon is coming to the game uh, and they're bringing their best uh, hitters, okay? So this could become dangerous to Canon because I don't want to leave the Canon and the Panasonic ecosystem, but neither one can give me focus and everything is about focus. Why would I be here and be out of focus, uh, you know, to you guys and, and trying to explain that I know how to work these things, all right? So it's just not convenient to be out of focus, <laughs> trust me. So, uh, you know, what I found out was this table that I have here. Oh, I went online and it seems like a lot of people are having this problem. Their camera, their Sony camera just stops focusing. I got to do the arms back here. Next time I think I'm going to move up to 1.8 so I can be myself. All right. Uh, so a, a lot of people are saying it just stopped focusing. And one person said, oh, you got to take the battery out and wait 10 seconds, turn the camera on so it truly drains, then put it back on, uh, try stuff like that. Another guy said make sure that it's up to, you've got the firmware up to date. I did all that and I couldn't get it to a focus and then all of a sudden it started again. 
that is a bad position to be in. If you cannot reenact a problem, then if you're out and doing something even as simple as a party where you're at, or if you're doing a paid job, if you cannot recreate the problem, then what you need to do is get yourself another camera because there's something really wrong. You need to be able to diagnose it, uh, segregate it, fix it, and then put the camera back into action. If you can't do all that, you can't take the camera and go out into the field because you can't be on the field and crack out the uh, instruction book. Now, the instruction book does not help, okay? <laughs> I did go and look at it, but I finally got it fixed uh, and it was by accident. It was like one of those inspirations from God. Now, this is my table, all right? I'm gonna show you. Now, I put this table on wheels, so this way with the family uh, is in and out. I can move it out of the way. So I will move the table out of the way, like so, okay? So now if I just come and stand here without the table and I know where to line myself up, and actually I can use this, the camera is working fine. If I walk back over here, I'm just fine and the camera is gonna follow me fine. It's not a problem. So this is what happened yesterday. I decided, oh, this is going so well, I'm going to set it up to make a video. So I rolled the table out and I did it like this. I pulled it because it's on the wheels and I know to bring it in line with the back here. Okay, so this is about the right spot. And then I can come over here, all right? And the table's kind of in line with where it should be. I, I would fine tune it a little bit better. Uh, this is the Lumix uh, GH5, okay? Now, and what happened is I walked away I actually, I just walked a little bit backwards and the camera wouldn't focus. And I went to walk over here and the camera wouldn't focus. It's broken. The camera's broken, right? What do I do? I'm gonna come back over here. I'm gonna come and check out Jingles who's sleeping and I'm annoying him and the camera's not focusing. However, if I come back up to the desk, the camera focuses. So here's the riddle, what's wrong? Okay, what's wrong is on this screen, if you go higher into the area where focus is grabbed, which is for me about a quarter of an inch, it is not going to move. Doesn't matter what your settings are. Responsive, locked, standard, it doesn't work, okay? So what you need to do, or what I need to do, is the table needs to come like this. Watch this now. I'm just gonna move the table about six inches closer, okay? Now I'm going to come back in, and now I'm in the, under the quarter of an inch on this phone, okay? On your screen, you can probably take a look and see, all right? So we're not in that wide focus zone. Now, if I take a step back, okay, the camera works. So I reset it. I was going to download the firmware. I was going to come over and talk to Jingles and see if he had an answer because it was working. And then all of a sudden, if I came over here, it wouldn't focus on me anymore. So the problem is, is if you have a stationary object, in my case, it's a desk. And if it's in far enough to the area where the camera is catching that motion that's happening, See, now I'm, I'm naturally putting my hands forward, uh, which is gonna make the camera wanna focus. But I did lower it, as you guys told me, uh, John Spudo and Smuggles and a couple of others. I don't wanna hurt anybody's feelings. If you mentioned it too, you get the credit, okay? So uh, the camera is actually focusing on the closest moving object or locking on an object. And this was in the standard position yesterday. This was not with this new change that I made. So this is kind of like a secret to the Sony focus system to make it behave the way we want it to behave. So now my confidence level is going higher and I can actually put the phone down and know that I can walk around the room. I'll do it. Let's say I'm gonna do it without my training wheels. I'm gonna go high and say hi to Jingles. Hey baby, we're testing to see if the camera can focus. Now if all goes well, this is actually in focus. And if it doesn't go well, we have a new problem but my guess is, is that it's going to go well. So now the focus in this video, even if you didn't see yesterday's video, you can rate this. How is the focus quality here? 
Is it as good as the Canon's dual pixel focus for you now um, or not? For me, uh, from yesterday to today, we took one giant, giant step forward. Because yesterday I had a little confidence, lack of confidence. I didn't know why it was seemed to be broken. I didn't know why it didn't focus, but now I can reenact it just by pulling the desk in and out like I showed you. I can't bring the desk too far back, uh, meaning it can't be like an, a, an object that goes up too high into the um, area where it's gonna be focusing. Because unlike Canon and unlike Panasonic, uh, and probably unlike uh, uh, Fuji, uh, it's not tracking my face. It's just tracking a moving body. So you heavier guys, <laughs> you have an advantage. All right. So I think we've taken a big step forward on the focus because you need to know how to work your stick shift in the car. You can't go from first to fifth unless maybe you got a Corvette and there's enough power to push the car. You've got to go through the gears, first, second, third, fourth, fifth gear, okay? So, uh, you know, understanding how the focus system is working here is going to help us be more confident to buy the camera that you want and not give up as much. So the one thing that you're still going to give up is, of course, the articulating screen. There's ways around it, but I've seen some of you guys have made comments like, no articulating screen, I don't want the camera. And I can sympathize with you, all right? But I can use the phone. I can actually just set the phone down over there, but I can start it and stop it with the phone. So uh, the last thing I wanted to say is I'm getting a lot of comments on why I am not eating uh, the Oreo cookies because I did lose the bet with the... Uh, Canon M50, I am going to eat the cookies, but it's going to have to be on my special day, which you would call a cheat day, which is Saturday or Sunday. So the camera was announced on Monday. I don't want to break my eating regimen uh, because uh, during the week I stay on a certain style of eating. It's not dieting because if it was dieting, I would break that diet. So Monday through Friday, I eat a certain way. And on Saturday and Sunday, one of those two days gets to be a fun day for me. You know, so that's when I will eat the Oreo cookies. I'll have my ice cream. I'll have anything I want on my fun day. So I'm looking forward to my fun day. And that's when I'm going to be eating my Oreo cookies. All right, that's it. I wanted to update you on the focusing because it's a big thing. Unfortunately, I don't think that many people are going to see this video, but it certainly helps to understand how to get that Sony focus system to work really close to how the Canon dual pixel focus is going to work. Don't hide behind the bushes and try to shoot the camera because the bushes are going to <laughs> mess up the focus system. All right. Peter Gregg, Miami, Florida. Thanks for watching today. Catch you later. Bye-bye. Whoosh. You have just watched another Peter Gregg video. Something warm, human, and wonderful happens when you watch Peter Gregg. Thank you for watching. Description of all equipment used in this video plus any notes Peter took while filming are always placed in the description box, show more box, or down arrow thingy next to the title on mobile apps. Duly noted.